distance at the moment it's not raining because it has forecasted we'll have one quick look down at that container garden and those hoop tunnels and just see how things are getting on this weekend and you've probably already seen this we made this the other day because we wanted to protect all those brassicas from pigeons and all the salads from slugs and that's working out perfectly they're getting light they're getting water and they're growing on really well and we've got peas in there now which we'll be planting out this coming week and those sweet peas as well and then we've got various containers set up there we've got potatoes in them so we're just waiting for these to surface and in this greenhouse we've got some more potato containers and there's a couple that's showing a little bit of life like that one over there as you can see those red cabbages have gone mad they're really big plants now and it looks like some of them are starting to fold in to form those heads but these were supposed to be for a spring harvest because we planted these last year but because weather's been so up and down they've hardly grown and then over the last few weeks everything has just shot up and the same in here those savoy cabbages are now huge i'm not sure whether this one is going to work it is curling in its center it's just starting but it's quite a big plant so we'll just have to wait and see what happens with that and we've got that smaller one next to it as well but once again red cabbages huge plants and we've got them two cauliflowers left we lost four over the last few months due to them bolting splitting open but that's because the weather's been that inconsistent it causes that problem you can't see much of anything happening at the moment but they are big healthy looking plants so hopefully we'll get at least a couple of cauliflowers out of this and a spring onion seem okay as well but onions are pretty low maintenance all the strawberry plants have put on a lot more growth now so they're well on the way we've got some smaller ones that we saved from last year and replanted we'll see how they do as we go through the season peas very slow growing at the moment they have got some size to them but they're not growing as fast as they normally would so we better get some netting put on here as well so they've got something to cling on to when they do get there and we've got some calabrese in there again very slow growing everything this year and we've got onions either side as well and a few weeds that we need to get sorted out it seems this year that the weeds are growing faster than as actual plants same story in this one these plants have hardly grown since we put them in except for that one but all the others are really tiny so I'm not sure what's going to happen with these but on an upside all those onions that we've put in are all on the way now put on some really good growth and so have those shallots they've all got the green tops through now and they're looking really healthy as well and then we've got this other root tunnel and once again we've filled that with onions which have all started sprouting now and there's a lot of onions in this bed so lots of stuff going on at the moment and obviously there's going to be a lot more as this weather picks up and then we'll start filling this big tunnel up with something as well and then we come down to the container garden area and in just a week since we made the strawberry tower those strawberries have put on some good growth and everything else seems perfectly happy in here everything's starting to put some good size on there these onions really good size carrots are putting on some good size as well I'm not sure how long it's going to be before we can harvest these at the moment but it looks like we're definitely going to get some out of those 
all those pea shoots are up as well now and most of the salad bowls have germinated especially this mustard pickled onions looking really well we've got a few more spring onions that's poking through now and a lot more germination on that little finger carrot container and those peas have now started growing up this netting that we've put on this piece of trellis they're just clinging old and then they'll work their way right at the top and that's those sugar snap peas that we did and we've got some spinach up front as well which we'll keep taking cuttings from every week now and then letting it grow on but these peas look really healthy they look better than the ones that's actually in the ground same thing with container carrots all doing really well and the spring onions and we took a cutting from those this week as well left a few to grow on harvested those ones and then they'll grow back and as cabbages and cauliflowers they look all right parsnips and we've got quite a bit more size on this potato container and exactly the same with this one and we've just put that in a compost bag so once again we're at a point where we can now bury all this stem with some more compost so overall this container garden area is doing exactly what we want it to do and it's not going to be too long before we start taking harvest from this but we are going to put a few more things in there yet